There's many a story to be told that has taken place in the plush confines of Singapore's Jewel Hotel, Raffles. Named after the father of modern Singapore, Sir Stamford Raffles, the state's most cherished hotel has seen many a celebrity, royalty and dignitary grace its hallowed halls. The history of Raffles has been subject to a procession of literary work, and even a cartoon or two, that attempt to capture the venue's beauty. However, there's a lot more than meets the eye to this luxurious hotel. Here are 10 facts you might not know about Raffles.1. It's about to get a facelift. In a bid to retain the historical beauty of the hotel, Raffles will be undergoing a careful restoration program that will be conducted in three phases. The first phase will begin in February 2017 and will focus on the hotel's arcade. The second will begin next August and is set to work on the main lobby, along with a few guest suites. The final phase will work on finishing touches and see the hotel closed from the end of next year, right through to the second quarter of 2018.2. Speaking of facelifts, the last restoration began in 1989 and took two and a half years to complete. It cost, SGD, 160 million, 116 million dollars, and was conducted by a South Korean construction firm, Sangyong Engineering and Construction.3. Raffles entices many a guest, including tigers. History buffs may have heard of the time a tiger came to tea in the luxurious bar and billiard room at Raffles. As legend has it, a wild tiger, or was it a tiger that escaped from a traveling circus? Managed to creep into the comfortable confines of the billiard room and cower under a billiard table. After its presence was discovered, the tiger was shot at least five times before receiving a fatal blow. What people might not know is that the tiger was the last of its kind ever to be shot in Singapore.4. It wasn't the last tiger to be seen at Raffles, though. A live tiger was photographed on top of a Raffles billiard table as part of the hotel's centennial celebrations.5. One of the first guests was, according to the hotel, author Joseph Conrad, who was a seaman at the time.6. Much like any historical beauty, it has a song made in its honor. Composers and chansonniers have often looked to beauty for inspiration for their next tune. Therefore, it was only a matter of time that the pearly white halls of Raffles would also be epitomized in song. And it was, in 1915, by A. Dietz. His composition, The Raffles March, was dedicated to one of the hotel's founding brothers, to Grand Sarkis.7. The origins of the Singapore sling, to this day, remains under contention. The official story is as follows, Hainanese bartender Ngiam Tong Boom created the million dollar cocktail and Singapore sling at the now famous Long Bar. However, much like any other cocktail, there are several variants to this tale. The first is that the original recipe for the Singapore sling merely required a dash of cherry brandy to be added to a gin sling, 